TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K I C K dot com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, right behind me, this is the channel. You can catch any live highlights if you missed the live. Um, don't forget, we also got the merch. Got mine on. You get me. And we also got a Patreon. We post five days a week, Monday through Friday. If we miss a day on the week, we go to Saturday, but we don't miss no days lately. Um, the link to that is all down in the description. Just go down and press more and press link tree, and then all of it will come up. Um, okay, this is Vice. What is 3 MMC? The party drug that, n that with no come down. By high society, this got this. I know there's something in Europe. I ain't even gonna, you know what I'm saying? Imagine a drug that feels like cocaine and Molly is half the price and has no come down. Don't those two things offset each other? I would know, I'm just questioning because of the chemical compound structure voltated by the. Uh, electrolytes and the manipulable cells and organizational skills. Seems too good to be true, and if you live in the US, it is. But head over to Europe, and you just might find 3MMC at your next party. It's a new drug, bro. The traffic is heavy. It's the thing on everyone's lips and nostrils. Techno culture and drug culture is such a fundamental part of the Berlin identity. A perfect party drug that everyone wants a piece of. There's a big war going Who on. Who is that? Now. Was that 12 with the clip 30? Everyone wants a piece of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Police got 30s on theirs now? That gotta be not. That's not here. There's a big war going on now here in Holland. Every day there are like Holland. explosions. From the mafias bringing it in. This is just like a lot of drugs. To the therapist doling it out. It is a useful tool. There's no doubt about that. 3MMC is the drug of the moment. The best of in Amsterdam with this. No, he said yes. So I just got out of Bergheim, Berlin's most exclusive club. It's notoriously hard to get into, but somehow I got a wristband and was able to join the fun. Partying for 48 hours is really not easy. A lot of people need a little something something to get them through the night. Coke, speed, and MDMA might do the job, but in Europe, there's way more options than that. Did they, did they just say 48 hours straight? Look, I've partied for like 24 hours, but like I've partied for like days in a row, but like in one spot? Enter 3MMC, a stimulant that's getting super big here. 3MMC first popped up in Sweden in 2012. It was created as a legal alternative to 4MMC, also known as Mephadrone, MCAT, or Meow Meow because it smells like cat piss. So it was legal at one point. Shifting one molecule, there was now a cleaner, less tweaky version of Mephadrone with a much softer come down. But now 3MMC is also illegal and it's been forced onto the black market. You can smoke it, boof it, press it into tablets, but most people snort it. Boofing three, boofing it is crazy. Y'all moving wild. Anybody who boofing anything is just, y'all just, y'all need intervention. So I'm here to see what all this hype is about because for a drug that's supposedly taking over, no one has heard of 3MMC back home. Even though I got a full Berlin club experience researching this story, we couldn't bring any cameras into the club. So instead we went to a park to catch people on their come downs. How do you guys do this after a full night of partying, going to a hot park and just simmering in the sun? It wasn't a hot night and... It's the beginning right now? Yeah. I saw all of a cut. So this is our, like, what? <laughs> I think it's been 24 hours now. And we ate before, so... <laughs> what do you think, like, the most popular drugs here are? FC, MDMA, Speed, and s stuff like that, but I heard a lot about Mephadrone and GBL. And when you take G, you can cut G with 3 and Mephadrone. What does being on 3MMC feel like? It's like Speed, <laughs> but it also plays on serotonin. It's like MDMA mixed with a touch of coke. You're able to really make conversations. It's weird. Also a bit horny. If you're taking this, you get really addicted to I was just about to ask, is y'all F-U-C-K-I-N on there? 
If, if y'all having relations, is it doing that? What's your advice for me to like survive 48 hours of partying? I have your own straws. Berlin 101. Mais vraiment, mais vraiment. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Agreed. There's lots of drugs in Berlin, which means there's also lots of dealers. And after texting around, tonight I'm meeting up with one named Mark. I'm hoping he can tell me more about 3MMC since it's one of the biggest products that he's selling right now. Do you always just have like a plate of speed waiting? Uh, I guess speed is, is always, has always been affordable here in Berlin. My customers... Uh... That particular one that they're doing right now, people use that to cut uh, a lot of different things in America. I ain't never seen nobody just buy that straight up in America. Drug free is the way to be though. Stay off anything. Drink water. I can do as much speed as they want while they're uh, buying. <laughs> I feel like that's a good vibe to have as a dealer. Uh, it's supposed to be easygoing, fun, and pleasant. And I'm added out to a um, uh, tizzle later, so there's uh, no reason not to do speed right now. Wow. Oh, refreshing. <laughs> I actually got a message from a customer who's right around the corner, so we might meet one of my customers. When... No lie, that's the type of dealer you want to be, dude's whole demeanor. Like, he's di definitely under the radar. Boy got a, 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 a button-up shirt with a cardigan over it with the collar poking out. That's tough. He's moving different. Nobody says, gold-plated, triple-digit is wild. All right. <laughs> People think of a drug dealer, you're probably not like the first person that comes to mind. I think you're the first drug dealer I've ever met who's shown up in a sweater and a <laughs> um, collared shirt. Uh, uh, so is drug dealing here just kind of no big deal, super casual? The club culture is such an, like, a fundamental part of like the life here in Berlin that it's like there's no shortage of people who just appreciate a drug dealer that's, that doesn't look like a criminal. People prefer to buy drugs from someone that is actually pleasant, <laughs> like not not like, doesn't look sketchy. Is That's this your full time fact. gig? I do have another job, also as a freelancer, but like uh, just part time. Oh, is this your drug box? Yes, this is actually. Um, Whoa. Um, so there's like um, some MDMA, the uh, three MMC, and uh, that's actually the four MMC. When did 3MMC and kind of Mephedrone get really popular here? Was it during the pandemic? People were asking for uh, uh, Mephedrone before the pandemic already. 4MMC wasn't popular enough back then that uh, I didn't want to deal with that fucking smell. Not gonna lie, he's getting robbed. <laughs> if he, like, in Chicago, he trapping, he better trap amongst a specific group of people. Because if he go outside that, they taking everything. Oh. Yeah, isn't that what like Mephedrone is known Allegedly. for, right? That's why it's exactly. called Meow Meow because it yeah. smelled like cat piss. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. But like in the pandemic, th that's when all of a sudden there were like Mephedrone connoisseurs. It was probably when 3MC also started. 3MC has always looked like this kind. Like it was, it was always um, clear, proper crystals. And the people I know who prefer 3MC, they do so because it doesn't smell bad. Can I see that? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. I mean. Let's be honest, like, that's, though that's ecstasy. That's Can I see the mephedrone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is cute. Yeah. This is not cute. They definitely. Some people pre prefer, like, the odorless, cleaner uh, crystals of 3MMC, and some people pre prefer the more intense effect that they get with 4MMC. How much is this? Around 15 grams, which would be probably, like, 200 to 300 euros, maybe? Oh, uh, I think. Not gonna lie, that's very inexpensive. That's crazy. But, you know, Class A's, Class B's are a lot cheaper over there in, in, in the Europe than here. Not that I know any of this stuff, I'm just guessing. Drug free is the way to be. My customer's here. Hey, oh, welcome. Set oh. Sibiris. What are you gonna be buying today? Today I use three MMC because I have to meet my father in the morning and uh, there's uh, there are big emotional problems. Uh, which we have to wait through, and 3MMC really, really helps. So you kind of use it as a coping mechanism? Yeah, you could say so. You get more open and empathetic. Uh, That's what you a, just said. really say. good um, conflict manager. I couldn't take it like uh, speaking with my father. After three minutes, I would uh, explode, but 3MMC, uh, we can solve stuff. Getting closer to each other, that's a good experience. But it's... Uh, Risky too. I think um, 
people with social i'm not gonna lie your father must be a terrible person where you gotta take three <laughs> you gotta take a drug to deal with him that's you moving wild buddy somebody's terrible in that situation like society you will probably have uh, uh, problems getting not addicted uh, because uh, after an hour you have the urge to you're a busy owner operator working hard hard to run your trucking so i mean isn't your father going to be able to tell that you're on something i don't think so you don't have uh, um, these big eyes uh, like on dma and you're not acting irregularly in a very, very, very obvious way, you know. I think you're looking quite normal. It was a pleasure uh, having you. <laughs> uh, take care and uh, good luck with your father. <laughs> uh, take care. Bye-bye. So, okay, so if things, research chemicals and things like Molly and Methadrone are super cheap here, where are they coming from? Where are you getting yours? I'm getting it from people I just met at parties here. So but Methadone definitely is from uh, the Netherlands. Most drugs are from uh, the Netherlands. Not gonna lie, that's crazy to hear. You said most drugs are from the Netherlands? Like the Netherlands, don't they have one of the, lax, the most lax prison systems? Or am I thinking of, I might be thinking of somewhere else. We got to do a prison uh, documentary on the Netherlands because I know there's a lot of drug dealers locked up there. Here, it looks so peaceful. We are in the Netherlands, the home of 3MMC. When you think of a narco state, it probably doesn't look like this. So it might surprise you that the Netherlands is Europe's drug trafficking capital with over 90% of the European drug trade going through the port of Rotterdam and just a hop skip over the border in Antwerp. So we've come here to learn more about this synthetic culture and determine, is this really a narco state? It's pretty pretty though. In recent years, the Netherlands has been fighting a drug war, spending over $600 million to combat organized crime last year alone. And even though they've seized tons and tons of drugs, violence between cartels- Yo, bro, I never knew this about the Netherlands. What's going on out there? Y'all got armed officers carrying 30 clips in the Glock 17? That's, y'all, that's... Listen. I might be a little impressed. Unfortunately, the situations that are going on out there are just, just unfortunate. Tell groups over Dominion of the Ports is still on the rise. The police even found an underground prison with a torture chamber inside it. Making drugs like 3MMC. What? What is going on in an underground prison with a torture chamber? De was Dexter shot here? That's where Dexter was taking his people. And look, man. Chamber inside it. Making drugs like 3MMC illegal isn't helping either because they're just smuggled back in by criminal groups. Through one of our sources, we've secured access to one of these groups and they're giving us a glimpse into their operations. So I'm in the back of a black van that was waiting outside of my hotel. We were told to just get in it. We have no clue where we're going. We only really have an hour with them. So we're gonna have to get in and get out and learn everything that we can. No, okay, we gotta cut from here because we're leaving the highway. Can we see kind of what you do here? You see it too? What must I know for Drugs handel in Amsterdam. Dit is je wilt het zien? De beste in Amsterdam wat er is. Het is heel lekker, goed gedaan. Dit is het. Moet niet veel te weten. Are you guys making your own drugs here in the Netherlands, or are you importing them through the ports? We hebben hier ook, maar wij doen ook met van buiten. We werken ook samen met buiten, maar hier hebben wij ook. So we have a look at the stuff then. Yeah, I would love to see some of your product. Ik ga het laten zien, maar snel hè. Niks aanraken. So is this all 3MMC right here? This is all 3MMC, yeah. Only this and the other one. No one can see what it is. Only this one. How much money is all of this worth? 
How much kilo? Two thousand. Wholesale. How much did all of this cost you to get? No, the tooth don't need to wait for the premium. So three MMC sounds pretty cheap compared to other drugs. Yeah, more days a day. Worth fuel for cooked. I've definitely never held this many drugs before. Would we be uh, would we be able to open it up? I've done so. I'm a whole bitch, but I promise I won't drop it. Um, damn. You can also smell it if you want. Oh, I can smell it? Okay. Be careful. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like like a like a bogus form of Molly, but I mean, it doesn't smell terrible. Very cool. You know, I'm probably, that would probably not be great for the interview, but I really appreciate the offer. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 uh, hey, You're such a gracious host, um, but I just, you know, like to have a clear head, you know, when I'm meeting new people. Don't need. I think the government is putting about 500 million in police protection due to what happens to be growing mob violence. Do you think that's blown out of proportion or? Should people really be afraid of you? So long as they next do, is there next on the hunt? As Nimont may are, is there next on the hunt? I crack Nimont arm. As they and shit, and my shit will do, then crack the top to her. No lie, that's normally how it is. Drug dealers aren't looking out, out, going out looking for problems because it's bad for business. I don't know from. Can look at you. Overall and nergens. We zijn de sleutels van heel Europa en daarbuiten. Poorto, Antwerpen Poort, Rotterdam Poort. Wij hebben de hand bij in de hand. Is genoeg geweest. It always surprises me the access Vice can get, man. It's crazy. They're in everywhere. They're, they can get an interview with anyone. For obvious reasons, he was kind of cagey about the details of his operation, and I wanted to learn more. So today I'm linking up with Soviet, a German rapper in Amsterdam with his feet in both the hip hop and drug worlds. He's agreed to tell me more about the drug trade here in the Netherlands. <laughs> I think you are saying you are a journalist. I'm also a journalist. I'm a journalist from street. I tell you That's what true. happened on street. That's true. That's a good way to put it. how bad it is and what can happen. It's like criminals making music, you know? It's not, uh, it's not an artist they are making music. It's a criminal they make therapy with music. Oh, hello. Hey. I'm Zach. So nice to meet you, man. Dicker. Ähm, ich muss von den sechs, die ich Donnerstag von dem genommen habe, er muss drei zurücknehmen. Der Typ ist im Knast, ich kann ihm das nicht senden. Bruder, und er muss das zurücknehmen, ansonsten muss er auf Geld warten. Ich habe kein Geld, das alles zu bezahlen geht nicht. Okay, okay. You see, we, we make that what we say, bro. You make what? I make that what I rap, bro. I have struggle, bro. I'm not one from... He said he ain't capping in his raps. He living how he... How, what do he speak? And the bitches, they not make that what they say. Ugh. Crazy times. So everything you're rapping about is real. Yo, I think in my in my life I have lost uh, 12 or 13 friends in jail, and two friends from me are dead. So many people can identify it with what I say. And in Netherlands, bro, the traffic is heavy. So 3MMC, Molly, other research chemicals. Who is importing them? It's coming from India, many. Uh, MDMA or like the 3MMC, the new things is coming from India. They're going more popular because music also. It's crazy, bro. It's mainstream. When you ask me, in every video of every rapper in Netherlands are many, many drugs. I think it's the opportunity. Ain't no so way, you just hit that mid That's why I say every on. time it's uh, in my eyes the middle of the earth. Do you just hear about new synthetics being trafficked through the Netherlands all the time? Yeah, yeah safe, safe. That's what I mean. That uh, free MMC. Before three years, I not hear that. It's a new drug, bro. So the market is going in a crazier movement. So I think you find drugs everywhere. When you want it, you find it. 
Look how beautiful. I'm getting the Look sense that there's more to free MMC here. than just partying. Like most drugs, there also seems to be a darker side to it. So tonight I'm meeting up with Roxy. She's an escort here in town who's offered to share her experience with 3MMC because she's been using it since it hit the market. I just want to give her a compliment, but then she they said she's an escort. She do got this black belt around her neck. This is the black belt of Glock Glock 3000. If, if your girl wearing one of these, it's either two things. Congratulations or she's for the streets. You guys are, you know, using a lot of different stuff right now. You know, heroin, base. I think you were smoking crack when we walked in. There's some weed. Like, how long have you, you know, been dabbling in all? <laughs> I'd answer the door smoking crack is crack. Oh, all these my. substances. My bad. Uh, I'm 29, so I would say 16 years. 16 years. It's a long time. Uh, my mom was addicted too, so I would take care of her. So since my six, I know how to cook, I know how to clean. Um, but my mom was very aggressive. I'm going to share with you exactly how all those real estate lead gen companies She had really nice sides too. All my mom's boyfriends were also like heroin, addicts, uh, injecting it. That really just shocked me. So I wasn't. This is giving me crackhead vibes. I'm not even gonna lie to you. She got on stockings, nice little pencil skirt, nice little top, black belt with them on. That's, that's. Like heroin, addicts, uh, injecting it. So I was in a lot of uh, junky houses. Yeah. You two met and mm -hmm. you both, you know, use drugs. You both struggle with addiction. Has that helped you bond? Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh so y'all want to sit here and tell me that bonding over crack is, is, is not toxic? They found, we found in love in a hopeless place. Y'all remember that song? They fell in love over a crack rock. Like, what is happening? Somebody, please call the police. <laughs> nah, I'm just like. Uh, people that do drugs are uh, nicer. <sighs> Not so boring. So how does the three MMC kind of work into everything that you do? Let's say uh, when I go out, um, I still do drink, you know? Um, and I'm drunk, um, and I take a line. It helps me to like uh, that cuts the alcohol um, and makes me more focused. You know, the rest of talking like this. Um, I don't have that um, uh, that Tuesday blue. Um, yeah, uh, so I prefer uh, sniffing from MC than sniffing cocaine. And I prefer swallowing from MC than uh, swallowing MDMA or ecstasy. Mm -hmm. Because I really uh, suffer then uh, the next t two days from like down and depression, you know? Everything is just shit around me. And with free MC, I do not have that. Yeah, is there any 3MMC here? Not yet. Um, <laughs> not, yet. not yet. We were planning to. You guys well, were planning to order it? Yeah. So they send you like menus or something? Yeah, they do. Um, let me see. Refer a new customer during this week and choose 25 worth of goodies on top of your next order. I guess I can show this. I mean, doesn't say like any number. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty legit way to deal drugs. Yeah, I know it's party time. So you've been to rehab before? Yeah, uh, like three or four times. You know, obviously you're using drugs right now. Like, mm -hmm. where are you at? She's been to rehab three or four times. At this point, you're just wasting the government's money and time. Like, because I know you're not paying for it. It's, it's funded by whoever it's funded by. You're just wasting their time. I'm telling you, everything that, everything, anything that you want, it's a mindset. She's not ready to be clean. So she doesn't have a clean person's mindset. 
You can't stop sending her to rehab. It's not gonna work until she wants to be clean. You know what I'm saying? Sorry? What does that mean? <laughs> I guess I'm just wondering, you know, like where where are you at kind hey. of in your in your process right now? Are you taking She just answered it. I'm on this pipe. I'm getting high. Ain't no process right now. I'm I'm high. A stint off of rehab. Do you plan to go back? Oh, I don't mind that I do drugs. Um, I feel like as long as I don't rob anybody or I don't harm people that I love. Okay, this is brown, by the way. Uh, I don't harm people that I love. Brown as in heroin. Hey, listen. You might not be hurting nobody, but you hurting your family by doing drugs. You think your mom and dad want to see their daughter like this? You're hurting them every day. Yeah. And you selling yourself on top of that? Um... Then I should be fine. Give me just seven days, and if you're not winning, eight there's gonna be a time where she gets older and she looks back at this and be like, "Dang, I was really out here. I'm ashamed." Maybe not though. Oxy until pretty late. It kind of felt like 3MMC enabled her addiction because it leveled out the other stuff she was using. But she wasn't the first person we spoke to who was using 3MMC to cope rather than party. And it kind of made me wonder if that was the true secret behind this drug. So I got in touch with Rudy Summerlove. Thank oh, for, please. Thank you for having well, us. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Come through, please. This is super cool. Rudy's an old school psychonaut who's been using research chemicals and psychedelics as tools for healing. What exactly is this that you run? This is a retreat center for treating people with psychedelic substances. We normally do psilocybin because that's uh, legal in Holland. So there's a various different conditions that can be treated now with psychedelics. Treatment resistant I'm not gonna depression, lie, but... PTSD, cluster headaches. I've had people here for stuttering as well. With 3MMC, it's more- I'm not gonna lie, like the, 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 the clutter in his house is making me uncomfortable from across the screen or that we want to get people talking. I think a lot of people, you know, probably see 3M MMC as a party drug, right? You know, it makes yes. you horny, it keeps you up. So yeah. I think some people would probably find it a little, you know, bizarre that you're using it as a therapeutic tool. Yeah, but then ecstasy as well uh, was originally a party drug. Um, and it went down the same, the same route, you know. It was suddenly discovered by the psychiatric society that it can be a useful tool. This I never idea knew that. of, uh, of <clears throat> it makes you honest is, I think, its best potential f for therapy because uh, that's exactly what you want people. You want people to be honest with, with themselves and with each other, you know? So what's going to be happening today? Today we are going to be sampling um, the current legal version of 3MMC called 2MMC. So would that be enough? Oh my God. So where are you getting this? Uh, I've got some friends in the business. It's like a raver went trick-or-treating. Like, this well, is so is. many exactly. stimulants. So, Zach, this is Dylan. Dylan's uh, doing a bit of an internship with us. What have you learned so far? 3MMC uh, gives you so much energy, euphoria, and, um, and focus. And uh, so it's really good at doing the gardening and the <laughs> housework. <laughs> well, the yard looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to the Lake of Joy. We will smudge you first, just to bring a bit of ceremonial element into it so that it's very different from a, a, a recreational thing. This is a purifying uh, ritual that uh, was originally originated by American Indians. And we're using sage mixed with a few other herbs. So if it's Zach, you want to come in? Sure. The idea is that the, the sage smoke purifies the spirit and stops any entities that might uh, want to creep in. If you want to lift your foot, would you like you guys to start thinking about your intentions as well? Thank you. I'm all nice and sagey. Yeah. What I'd like you to do is just hold that and just tell the universe what you would like to achieve through this ceremony. Sweet. Um, I'm just trying to be more present um, and in the moment, stop getting in my head all the time. It's just stuff like that. Brilliant. Okay, and if you want to do the same, uh, Dylan, pass it over to Dylan. Uh, I want to be more aware of my unconscious thoughts, to bring them into my consciousness and to understand myself better. And 
Sound like Bo need to go do some shrooms. You talking about being aware of his unconscious thought? What you you trying to unlock your third eye? What you? What was that? This and to have less monkey chatter in the mind and uh, just clearer thoughts. Fantastic. That was a really good intention. Okay, that's your sacrament. I'm good. I'm going to go say a prayer. Let me get closer to God. He's going to open up it all for me. I don't need none of this. No, sir. Good. When was the last time you did a prayer? I don't know what this commercial is talking about, but no. Nah. <laughs> oh, he about to take very it. Very nice. That, My legal oh, he team was it. being weird about me doing two MMC on camera, so I absolutely didn't do it. That's on good camera. cap. Yeah, so now we yeah. would generally we'll see sit you. and talk. And as the the two MMC takes its course, people get more talkative and people get more honest. You can really talk through the issues that you have. This it's is literally great. Literally for. what X does or Booger Sugar does as well. Take some of that and you're going to be talking all night. You're going to be in tune with your emotional state. Uh, for couples because of that. Dude. Not that I would know. I'm just seeing what I see on movies and things of that nature and shows. Is there anything you want to say to me? Yeah, um, I think you're a charming host and uh, I don't know why you get so many negative comments on YouTube. Thanks, that's really sweet. I don't know why I get so many negative comments on YouTube either, so. YouTube, stop it. YouTube, this is a place where you can, this is a, this is a place of free, free, you can say what's on your mind. If you feel a certain way, say it. You shouldn't be letting that affect you. People talk about me all the time. You know what I do? Block them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I think I'm going to unblock everybody I got blocked though, just to see, just to see how much hate come back. <laughs> yeah. How's the serenity? How, it is, the serenity's very nice. Is that how you would, would... I don't know. I've never been asked how my serenity is. No, this That's serenity, deep. not your serenity. Sure. But how is yours? Do you feel good? I think it's fine. I felt a lot of, like, I don't know what was going on right there in that little, like, particular moment. I just felt like they were flirting, which is fine. I just, I, you know what I'm saying? I just... Life moves at a much slower pace here got the most beautiful view. What's it been like living here and kind of cycling through different things? It's been really cool. I think um, the internal workings of the mind are very complex and, um, and also very simple at the same time. This is very nice. You should stop it. You kind of look like Zac Efron. <laughs> I didn't really get Rudy's apprenticeship program, but I think it's fascinating he's using a party drug this way. The cycle of synthetics is endless. When a drug like 3MMC is banned, a new version like 2MMC will take its place. But someday 2MMC might be illegal, opening it up to be sold on the black market. So whether it stays an illegal party drug or becomes a tool for psychotherapy, the future of 3MMC isn't clear. All I know is that designer drugs are on the rise, signaling new challenges for law enforcement and, of course, new highs for the rest of us. I'm not gonna lie, Vice be having some of the, hey, listen, especially, especially high society, this be great documentaries, man. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, I'm gone.